If you are a successful man and struggling with performance anxiety, this video is for you. And specifically, I mean sexual performance anxiety. Yep, we're tackling that one today. So first up, I want to talk about what do we mean by that? Well, really, it's when you get to the moment, so you know things are about to get intimate, and then there's just this sinking feeling of fear, right? And lots of things going through the mind all of a sudden. What if, a lot of what if questions. What if I can't get hard? What if I can't perform? What if I can't climax? What if my partner thinks it's something to do with them? Like, I know this is uncomfortable stuff to talk about because culturally or as a society, we don't speak about this stuff, but it's facts, it's reality. It happens to so many of us. So first up, I wanna say you are not alone. Uh, you're in the right place because we're actually gonna talk about it today. And this video will cover how to start figuring out what it is that's causing it. So some of the things that you may find that are going through your mind, I mentioned them a second ago, but this, this feeling of what if I can't get hard? What if I can't stay erect during sex? Um, I don't want to be picturing other things in my mind, right? That can definitely happen at times. I know I've experienced that in the past having to stay focused and it is like this weird zone of um, having to be so focused and that if one thing goes wrong or if one thing's different, then you can just lose it and the, and the moment goes and that feels shit. So like you can feel like shit about ourselves after that. You feel sometimes like it's just easier to, I may as well just pretend that I don't want it or I'm not interested so I don't have to go there. So I don't have to face these feelings so I don't have to face this fear of this happening again and then of course this other part of not wanting to hurt the other person there can be times where the partner feels like maybe they're doing something wrong maybe it's something to do with them are they not attractive enough or they're thinking that about themselves am I not attractive enough um, can I do something in a different way and that's hard as well, right? It's hard to hear those words and to experience that because you feel like, look, this is not about you. There's nothing wrong with you. This is me, but at the same time, we don't really want to understand or admit that there's something going on here because especially as, as men and successful men, we feel like we wanna be able to fix this ourselves. We wanna be able to deal with this myself. You know, continuing to take this battering to our identity and it, it really is a battering it may not be in the conscious mind all of the time but in such a critical like human moment when it comes to intimacy and sex uh are having to hear having to run those thoughts or to run that clock uh, through our mind every single time it's tough it really feels as a man is the core of us being challenged the core of our masculinity so the first step really is to find out what's causing this. And personally, from speaking with hundreds of guys now about this and helping guys to overcome these challenges and to transform their sex lives, the way that I like to approach it is taking a scientific route. And what do I mean by that? Well, in simple terms, it is just what can we rule out? Is it to do with, let's say, for example, my uh, lifestyle is it to do with my relationship is it to do with my um mindset you know things like stress or work-life balance or how i what i focus on what kind of stories i tell myself and it's really important to go through these and it this isn't about meticulously asking myself a thousand questions to understand instinctively when we start going through those categories together we know right we'll be able to see okay cool this is a clear indicator here that there may be something going on where i can make some improvements this part of my life i've actually got things together that's going really well there so we know it's not really stemming from anything to do with that right the first step is about finding the cause so how do we do it well below in the comment section you're going to see a link and that link will take you to 10 really simple yes or no questions that I've put together. So you can answer these 10 yes or no questions for yourself. The second step is what to actually do about it. And you'll see more about that on the page as well. So head to the comment section, 
click on the link, answer those 10 yes or no questions and see what your score is. Do this as a first step now 